Eh, it's going all right, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just being a gluttonous pig trying to shove this uh, subway in my stomach. Oh, Does man. it have hooks rubbing spices on it? <laughs> no, I was trying to hurry up and get this re- get up here to do this recording. I didn't have time to, to fillet it with it. <laughs> <laughs> The good old Monday recordings. Yeah. You seen the new Raw stage? Yeah, the skate park. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were talking about earlier. We were like, it looks like a giant quarter pipe. Yeah, it got pi- it got uh, flames on it now. Oh, man. So it just like, yeah, I heard they brought Pryor back. Yeah, it's like a Mountain Dew commercial and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sean White comes in. <laughs> I told that's what I was telling Goobs. I was like, man, I just hope a skateboarder comes and tries to drop in on that fucker. That'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, it's all LED too, isn't it? Of course it is. So you told me they can still go through it. Mm-hmm. Well, see, and that's that's what I was telling Goobs is I, I I like the old stage because, you know, there was always a chance when they started going up there to fight on the stage that they were going to throw someone through the, the LED screen. But now like that it's... Rhino and Jericho? <laughs> yes. Uh, but now they've got that little uh, slope on it, so I don't I don't see them going through that as easily now. Well, yeah, it should be easier now because they'll just like, they'll hit it and kind of slide down or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> hey, it might have saved Shane McMahon's, concu- Shane McMahon's concussions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was brutal to watch. It still is brutal after you know what happened. It's like, Jesus, Murphy. <laughs> yeah, put me through it, man. No, that shouldn't happen. Okay. So this should be the best week of wrestling. Are we in agreement? Like, this should be every, all shows at their A game trying to compete for the ratings at this point, right? Well, you got the underdogs, AEW. A lot of people think they're going to be coming in hot, but, like, I don't know. They're going against NXT, and NXT's been pulling mil- over, sorry, over a million. They got to come in hot, though. If they don't come in hot to like make a statement, you know, on the first live show, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna do something a little crazy. I bet. Yeah, there's already they better have the production value, man. Yeah, there's already a mystery tag team, and then there's already and there is another mystery person supposed to show up. I think the mystery tag team is gonna be LAX. Well, that's not a mystery. They showed up at the pay-per-view. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's going to be the lackluster thing, because it makes sense for the Young Bucks to face off with them after. Mm-hmm. So what are they going to call the team? Because they're going to be with Jericho. You know Jericho always got to name some shit. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, L-A-J. <laughs> J-A-X? I don't know. <laughs> Do y'all remember when it was uh, Helm and AJ and they were uh, Y2J Y2AJ Y2 AJ. and that was only they had a shirt and everything and they broke up like a week later Yeah, yeah he shoved the shirt in his mouth yeah it was so disappointing because it was like oh that's cool as hell and then not even a week later they were like yep we're done with this gimmick I want Lance Storm to join Chris Jericho's tag team oh yeah Lance that. Storm needs a spotlight again and call that what uh, I don't know, two Canadians with attitude? <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Let's go. Get serious for a minute, jackass? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd be like, um, why two lamps? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, is he still is he still going to use Y2J in uh, AEW at all? Like, no. I don't think he okay. can. Huh. Going with this Judas thing to sell his music. Yeah. Right. The Judas effect and all that. Weakest finisher ever. It looks cool, though. It needs to be a setup. I mean, what's the setup to a freaking random elbow? <laughs> well, you could get like, you could get a cool, that, that back, spinning back elbow and then kind of stun him and then do the code breaker. I mean, I know he doesn't want to do the code breaker anymore, but. I think that would be cool. You know, have them like kind of stunned and then give them the code breaker. I mean, the code breaker is going to be for special occasion. I think he going with the elbow because one, he ain't got to fall down on his back to hurt <laughs> nobody. Right. Yeah. He doesn't have to take that bump anymore. Mm-hmm. 
I kind of like it because it's just like it gives you that like it can happen at any time because that's how it was with Hangman. He just bam elbow it was over. He's like, what really? <laughs> now I can tell you what one does not look cool. Motherfucking John Cena's freaking cross elbow flying thingy, whatever the fuck he doing now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's is it? John Cena. Cena. His uh, oh, like, the six oh, moon move of doom. Uh, what? What are, they, are you talking about? That that punch that he's uh, they were talking about. He came up with in uh, China, when he yeah. was in Japan or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. So now is the shoulder block, shoulder block, freaking uh, slam. You can't see me. Attitude adjustment. Than the freaking funny punch thing. <laughs> got the uh, fluff his new hair to you. <laughs> but doesn't he kind of build it up like a like a Super Saiyan? Like he kind of ah, and then punches him. I, I only remember yeah, yeah, seeing he, him do it he once. Cro- he crosses his arms like he uh, representing Wakanda. Then he run at him. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Yeah, I, I just that's all I remember and I was like, what the fuck is he doing? He's he's powering up like he's a fucking anime character. You need to treat yourself in uh YouTube that <laughs> <laughs> There probably oh, is like Super Saiyan remixes of it. Probably. I, I wouldn't Black doubt Panther it. where they put the Black Panther mask on him. <laughs> now come on now, we can't be going around appropriating culture. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Vince McMahon definitely did it with John Cena back in the day, and I cannot say what he said. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't say it either. <laughs> <laughs> ah crap! So, so I guess we can start the show, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm done eating my sandwich. Yeah, we just missed all the great content. It's okay. We can bring it up again. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what you don't know is I've already been recording, but we're starting now. Exactly. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> the, Rob has done that to me before. We were just like shooting the shit. He's like, oh, we're going to start. He's like, we've been on for 20 minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, fuck it. Let's just keep it going. Then it, we, we'll just damn. We'll add in the intro here. Here we go. You are now listening to Random Rambling with Rob. Yay! <laughs> this is the anthem you're ready for some random shit from Rob. Now everybody stand up and lift your arms. Put your hands in the sky like you're pinching stars. Go piss on Mars! What? It's so random, it's all gravy. The pockets is Rob shit, go crazy. Yup. No kind of shit like that. That's what Rob says when he runs off track. Fun fact, tuck that in your brain. Fuck that nuts, that's we act insane. And the fast lane still smooth like butter. Rob, dude, you one cool ass brother. Motherfucker. You might hear that about every other word, but who's keeping camp? The ramblings get so random, what's happening? I'm babbling. So much you can't handle me, chattering teeth. Sound like a battle axe bashing the beat. Don't laugh when I speak. Cause really, we're just <laughs> some idiots. I ain't talking about a little bit. I'm talking fully illiterate. Like little kids trapped in a grown man's body. Acting a fool like Lindsay Lohan party. Like it's a part of your life, we party all night Blackout, that's how we party it right Hit the Walmart cause we bored as shit Instagram and upload the feed <laughs> look, at, look at Rob hanging out in the Walmart for no reason Just Instagram and he got his phone out Walking around looking at himself like Hey look at me, I'm walking through Walmart It's so random Rob It's so random, random. but that's what we love Random ramblings with random Rob ramblings. Random, ramblings. Random, ramblings. random ramblings 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 Blah, 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 blah. See, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we bringing it back old school. But damn, s- since I got you gentlemen here, I mean, do I need to introduce you? Since, I mean, we just rolling off the rails and shit without a proper introduction. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, I'm Toby. Yeah. And, yes, and, you are. And who are you, other guy? <laughs> I'm Goobs. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to establish your Toby. He's there we Goobs. go. <laughs> now we can actually start. Yeah. So so what have you been doing, Toby and our Goobs? <laughs> Goobs, you go first. Well, we can just jump right into the spiel, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get straight to the titty meat. Well, we're pretty much uh, from a show called The Secret Levels Podcast. And we do a retro video gamer show every week. We play a game, we beat it, and we tell you if we like it or hate it, and then we rage about it. 
<laughs> so now, I mean, do y'all just do it in, well, I, I mean, one sitting, I mean, you have to, you know, die and come back and all kind of stuff like that. Oh, Oh, we die lots of times. And yeah, then, <laughs> we definitely do die a lot when we play these old video games. Yeah, sometimes it takes us way longer than it should uh, just because the games are so damn hard. I try uh, to crunch it in within two days. Yeah. I will take a third if need be, but I try to... I give my games about six to seven hours or I try to like to beat them in. And that normally works half the time. Word. Yeah. We we'll we'll play it for a while, and then sometimes if we if we beat it once, we may try to go through it again and and really try to soak in what we missed in the first playthrough. Or turn the difficulty up and try to get it that way as well. See how much harder it actually is. Because some of these old games, man, they call it NES hard for a reason. Because it's fucking hard. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean you can't make it. I mean I'm pretty sure you could, and they probably got a few. But I don't think you can make a game the difficulty of the ones that we fucked around with when we were younger. And just like put it out now. There's like, some out there that like uh, a lot of indie studios are releasing like the 16 and 8 bit games, and they're some of them are pretty challenging, but none of them brings back the old hard factor. They get up there, but not quite as frustrating as what we had. So have- yeah, they used they used to make those games so hard because they were mimicking what was at the arcades, and at the arcade, what they want they want you to lose, so you stick more quarters in. So they were just mimicking that for home consoles, and that's why all those games are so freaking hard. Mm-hmm. So happy I came across some of the um, classically known horror games, like what it was, uh, Lion King and. <laughs> We haven't played Lion King yet, but we have played a couple of uh, games that were so freaking hard that uh, it, Lion it, King it, is a challenge, and I can't wait because we're going to be touching on that one uh, in a little bit. There's a yeah. release coming out of that on the Switch and everything else, I believe. Yeah, oh. yep. There's going to be a collection with uh, uh, all kinds Aladdin of Aladdin. So. Yeah, Aladdin and Lion King together. Two hard fucking games, but two great ones. Right. Uh, we, uh, so we just recently played, uh, Castlevania and that's going to be our, our first spooky episode for Halloween. And it was surprisingly a lot harder than I remembered. Yeah. yeah. Especially like, I, I forget which one it was, but it had it to where you got to the end of the level. Then it flipped upside down. And you had to go through it in reverse or some shit like that. <laughs> the upside oh. down castle. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't this one, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, there's some, I don't know. I, I think I've vaguely played those games. <laughs> just well, like, and then the, there, there's one game called Ghosts and Goblins. Or yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. Which one is it for the NES, NES goobs? Uh, ghouls and Ghosts or Super yeah. Ghouls and Ghosts or Super Ghosts and Goblins. Depends yeah. on what region you're playing yeah, in. Yeah, whichever one it is, you, you actually have to beat the entire game. And then when you beat it, it tells you that you have to start from the beginning and beat it a second time to actually beat the game. And it's so hard. It's probably one of the harder games that I've ever played. It's actually not that bad if you learn the patterns. Like, it's a lot of uh, random shit that goes on in that because we're on Rob, so everything's got to be random. Random! (laughs) But you got to, if you, like, really take your time on that game, it's not that bad. I beat it a couple times. Okay. Just Uh, wanted to put that little chip on my shoulder. Have y'all played Toe Jam and Earl yet? Yeah! The latest one? Or the original? The original we played. Oh, okay. Yes, we have. It was uh, super fun. Yeah. Yeah, me and my nephew used to play the shit out of that, man. <laughs> There's a, a rap song that they recently did a couple months back for, for the new Toe Jam and Earl that just came out, and I, I fucking love that song. It's so ridiculous and fun, but it's it's supposed to be the characters actually rapping, so it's, it's really cool. Yeah, it's a great co-op game as well. Yeah. 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 What I used to hate about playing that shit is like motherfucker will fall off the um, the level and go down to the next <laughs> level. Oh, I was like, oh no, <laughs> that, that's rage inducing, man. Because me and Toby would play together on the Sega Genesis collection on PS4. We we're reviewing the, we we're getting ready to review. I'm like, oh, well, let's play it together, see what happens. And we're like at the same part, we're doing things strategically, and the next thing you know, I'm I fuck up and fall down a level, <laughs> and then it's like, ah, oh, god damn it. Then he goes up to the next level. I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> yeah. What, what's a, what's another? I'm just trying to think of games I used to enjoy playing from those older consoles. What about Vector Man? Y'all hit that yet? 
we haven't we haven't played that one, but I love that game. I think it's a cool game. Oh, that just reminds me of like Ball 3D and all yeah. those games <laughs> like that. So it sounds like you were a, a Sega Genesis player. Well, I had them both. Oh, did you? Yeah. So I mean, but I did gravitate more toward the, um, the Sega than anything because I don't think I ever had them at the same time. It was just like I got the the original Nintendo. And then um, I think I got the Super Nintendo. Then I got the Sega or something, something like that. Then I got after the Sega, I think I got the um, 64, then the GameCube. But, yeah, I had every incarnation of either of the systems except for the Sega CD. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sweet. You didn't miss out much on the Sega CD. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Unless you want to play Mark Wahlberg and the Funky Bunch or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what game. I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what it's called. And I kind of want to play that one day. <laughs> Just I will never review is. that game. Oh yes, you will, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you can find you an emulator and get on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have one, so it may happen. Oh, sadly. Man. Oh, man, I, I remember because uh, we went to a retro arcade over the weekend. I saw that on your Instagram. Lots of impressive machines at that one. Hell, yeah. I, man, I was upset, though, because I had the one game that I really wanted to play. And um, it, it you can only move in one direction. <laughs> no, that's the worst. It was motherfucking Virtual Fighter. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hell. Man. Yeah. I was mad. kind of. All I can do is kick and punch, kick and punch, and move <laughs> forward. I couldn't go back. I couldn't jump. I was like, son of a bitch. Uh, I had that happen to me at a Street Fighter cabinet at a barcade we went to. You got to think drunk people and video games doesn't really mix well. Yeah. But I just wanted to play Street Fighter 2 and the same thing. You couldn't move forward. So, like, how the hell am I going to do any special move right now and just kind of just left the machine? I'm like, sad, incredible, sad, incredible Hulk song played it as I walked off into the <laughs> distance. And it's very disappointing. Yeah, it, and then they had the freaking um, that the OG X Men game. Oh, that's the best, and that's my favorite. They had the <laughs> Simpsons game. They had the oh, uh, those beat 'em ups are amazing. They have to add turtles in on that too. Yep, they had yeah. it there too. Yep, man, those are those are th- those are the three that everyone when when you say, oh, I wish I had an arcade machine or something, they're like, oh, I want X Men, Simpsons, or Turtles. Like that's well, everyone's go to game. Actually, for me. This motherfucking time crisis. That's my shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Time crisis is fun. Uh, yeah. I love fucking time crisis, man. I, I can remember I used to be so good at the original that I used to take both of the guns and damn do <laughs> both of the pedals and shit. Because I used to, I just, because here. Well, that, now we know why you're in the military. <laughs> I, I like to shoot shit. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> but uh, they have a casino out there in Louisiana and, uh, Grand Casino Cachado or whatever the fuck. So when it was there, it was like one of the first casinos we got in our region. So goddamn, my parents wanted to go every goddamn weekend. And they took me because they had a kid zone in there. And it was just like, oh, yeah, it was an arcade. It was like for the smaller kids, they had like a play place, bouncy house, daycare type. Inside joint. the casino? Yeah, inside the casino. Sorry, I'm in Canada. That shit won't fly up here. <laughs> and then in the um, for the older kids, they had like a straight up arcade. They had all the things. So like my two favorite games, if I could have a, like my own arcade in my house, it would be the freaking Time Crisis games, and it would be the freaking um, you know the little basketball hoop joints, the ones that even oh yeah yes either the ones that move back and forth or just the stationary ones. But dog, uh, I found the tr- I found the secret. You know, later on in life, but I used to murder that shit. I would go up to each machine and find a high score and just kill that shit. And when- <laughs> Get all the tickets. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then what I liked about that place, um, I don't know if they still do it now. I know the place is still there, the kids sections and shit. But they used to give you double tokens. So every quarter was 50 cent tokens. Hell yeah. So hell, you get a dollar in there, you get eight tokens. So I'm like, oh shit. Well, they wanted to distract the children long enough so the yeah, parents well, the could parents go gamble. Spend the money. <laughs> yeah, that's see. where the real money was. So they were like, "Yeah, here, double your tokens. That way, your parents will stay in there longer, so you're not whining about I'm out of tokens." Yeah, and see now, and that was the thing for me too. That's why I believe I got so good at those games because I didn't want to damn spin up all my tokens. I could just keep playing, and playing, and playing, and playing. <laughs> you know, that's 
I remember being uh, young and going to arcades and being like, man, I really love Mortal Kombat, but I suck at it and I'm going to waste a quarter if I go over there and try to play it because I'm just going to get through a few rounds. And I'd go play something else just because I knew that, that was I was going to get my ass whooped. So I'd just move on. <laughs> a few rounds at the arcade I went to, there was a lineup for that shit. You had to prove yourself if you wanted to get a few rounds oh, to no. take on the guy there. Oh, we, no. There's always that one guy there wearing a trench coat. He's just sitting there all day, greasy and sweaty, cigarette hanging out of his mouth because it was the 90s, so you're allowed to do that in a kid's arcade. I feel like you're just, describing the grandma's boy uh, guy. <laughs> Which is an awesome did, movie. did you see me? <laughs> Which is an awesome fucking movie. I love that movie. <laughs> Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> yeah, he had like robot Tourette's. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> turd nuggets. <laughs> I'm gonna get robot legs. You watch. <laughs> yeah, but damn, um, the, you talk about the, every arcade having the guy. Ours, you know, in the town where we grew up, we had a little boy in a cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, like a kid. Like to us, we were probably like, if we were in middle school at the time, he had to be in elementary. So, damn, he would be there posted up on all the fighting games, and his mom would just be standing there with her purse full of coins and shit for him to play. And he would, damn, whip everybody ass that stepped up to that machine. Then <laughs> he would lose on purpose, like the first round, because, you know, it's usually, you know, two rounds or three if you tie. So he would lose the first round on purpose just to show you how to do moves. Then he would come back the second round and whip your ass just too straight. <laughs> I wish I he wish we could get a spurs on his boots. <laughs> no, he was just like a little he was a little kid, curly afro with a red cowboy hat with um freaking tan little on top of the afro. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> and he would just wreck us in Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, whatever game that you can think of. He would wreck the shit out of all of us. Don't you wish you knew what happened to that kid? Like I wish that kid- I did. <laughs> <laughs> that could be your t- guest next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So you, your first question is like, so what did you do after the arcade back in uh, middle school? Male stripper. <laughs> yeah, you be like, what? Did, no, I want to know what the, cowboy hat. I want to know what he did after the arcades closed. Oh, online gaming called everyone <laughs> bad name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I really. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a Facebook fill out for that kid. I'm gonna see what. Happens. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be like, does anybody remember the little boy with the cowboy hat at the arcade? <laughs> the <laughs> Afro and the cowboy hat. Someone's got to remember him. Yeah, it, I think he's a. The, the arcade was Aladdin's castle. <laughs> Aladdin's castle. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, man. I'm. All the treasures were there. Exactly. Oh man! But, I can show you the world, Toby <laughs> and Rob. And then, oh, and then we had the um, the freaking we seen the evolution of an arcade in that place because we seen it um evolve from just straight up to- token machines to then damn um start getting ticket machines in there to where you can actually start winning prizes and shit. Yeah, the redemption machines. Yeah, so they, it's crazy like even going it's a sad transition man yeah now you got a little swipe cards and they're like you teach your kids about debit and getting in debt already (laughs) yeah that's exactly what it is i I still get sucked in because it brings you back to like like, get to play games in public with all these things and your skill pays off in the end but it's not the same not the same at all i miss the noise i miss the loudness miss the smoke filled environment (laughs) <laughs> yeah the blood you probably guts. still get that down in the states <laughs> <laughs> a little bit a little bit yeah the blood the guts you know <laughs> blood the guts and the sweaty nuts okay <laughs> well it gets pretty warm in those machines man it, it, shit, it get pretty warm it, it got pretty warm in that goddamn arcade that we went to man i was just like it was weird because like you go in there it's hot as fuck. Got all these machines running, probably still on nuclear power. <laughs> <laughs> and goddamn, and this building is deceptively big. So 
You come in, you hit the right of the counter, and that's where the bulk of the machines are. Then you come around to the left side of the counter. They got a couple of racing machines like um, they had a San Francisco Rush 2049 and everything and a couple of other ones. They had, um, what's the what's the game? Uh, you kind of break in that Area 51 with the alien gun and shit. Yeah, Area, Area 51. 51. No, it was Maximum Carnage, some shit, whatever the fuck. But it's probably the same game. They're just in a different case. Right, but, yeah. But um, what made me sad they had um, the Aerosmith game there. <laughs> oh, God. The shooter? Uh, yeah, the Revolution was, or whatever yeah, Revolution. it is? Revolution X or something like that? Yes. But it was broke. I was sad. I want to, <laughs> I want to shoot CDs at motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is. <laughs> you just shoot yep. CDs in that stupid game. <laughs> yeah, that was like the power oh, up. You man. reach so many points and shit, and you can hit the button on the side and shoot CDs and blow shit up. <laughs> uh huh. I, I think <laughs> shooting people. I think I own that game on on PlayStation One, but I've never played it. <laughs> yeah, but damn, well, let's keep it that way. Yeah. So they had a door on the race car side, and I was looking and said, "Not an exit." And it looked like it was a room big enough to host like kids' parties and shit. I've been saying like a hell of a lot, but um, if you go around the other side, like toward the bathroom. They had like this little cubby hole with some more arcade games in there. That's when I seen the uh, OG Ninja Turtle game and a couple of pinball machines. And then you take the right in there. There's a whole nother room with just straight pinball machines and like some old, some old timey ass arcade games. Like, I mean, it was freaking like amusement park old. You, the freaking that had a old wooden shotgun. I mean, not a shotgun, a rifle on there, and it had like little spinny things where you had to shoot it and go tink, and it fall over. <laughs> oh, awesome. did they have real BBs and stuff? Well, it it was simulated. Oh, okay, but I it was you. still like you. the old fashioned filling gun and everything. And you know, my ass trying to be Annie Oakley and shit. I'm actually sighting in <laughs> like this bitch. <laughs> Uh, properly sighted in junk, and I'm not hitting nothing. <laughs> so I had to get oh, that old awesome. Kentucky windage. <laughs> Stand back, kids. Dad knows what he's doing here. Yeah. He completely misses like a stormtrooper. Yeah, and then they have the uh, right next to it. They had this old school race car game. It was just black and white screen and four steering wheels, and you just had a circular track, and you had to spin that bitch. <laughs> a little pixelated car just going around the track and shit oh that's funny uh if you ever get a chance like if you're ever because you're still in houston right oh my see what's that see okay oh english so yes. If, yes if if you ever come if you come up north you need to go to that video game museum that's in uh i think it's in irving uh it's so cool and they have so many old like arcade machines and stuff in there and uh I mean, you can waste three or four hours in there just just reading all the the little stuff that they have. They have some really rare stuff, but there's a ton of video games. They have a bunch of consoles set out to where you can just play Sega. like just pick up a remote and play whatever Sega games in there and stuff. And it's it's really cool. So if you ever get a chance and you're up north, you ought to go check it out. Word. Hell yeah. Is that where they got the pain uh, pong machine? The what is it? Uh, oh, that, saw... that giant. That giant. Uh, uh, Pong machine? No, there's one that like induces pain on you if you lose. <laughs> oh, <hell laughs> no, I haven't seen that one. This one, they've got a giant. I saw one. it like on a YouTuber's like that who lives in Texas, so I thought it might have been that because like <laughs> it whips your hand if you lose or it shocks you. It does a whole bunch of different shit to you. <laughs> That's I want to play that one, but no, this one they have this. It's a like on a giant like 70 inch screen or something like that, and uh, instead of having like the little Atari knobs, it's got like a, a big giant Atari knob that's like the size of a steering wheel. <laughs> And it's really hard to actually. Everyone turn it. loves a big knob. Hey, hey, yeah. But uh, it, it's really fun. It's really fun. And hey, Rob, if you go down near uh, August next year, you might meet a certain Canadian. What? Y- yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to get a booth at one of the uh, uh, retro video game con things that that are in uh, Dallas uh, next year. So, so you mean Goobs is coming down hither? And yes. The what? With the bean, you you tell me when that's happening, and I will be there. <laughs> it's our ten year anniversary. Uh, getting married, and then we're going down to hot ass fucking sweaty balls, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> you are right at the peak heat. 
<laughs> It'll be you great. better have fucking AC. That's all I'm saying, man. man. Eh, I mean, we, we put a ice cube in front of a, a fan and yeah, I don't put my balls on your face. <laughs> we need an ice. <laughs> we need AC. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, you, you give me the deets on that, and I will be there. Yeah, yeah we're, for sure. we're hopefully gonna try to get a panel and shit going too. So, oh yeah, I'll definitely be there. Yeah. Could be a lot of fun. And who doesn't love a video game convention? Mm. Oh, um, on a side note, I was just kind of scrolling through. Uh, Brock Lesnar just beat the shit out of Dominic. Oh, Lovic? Or no, Ray's kid. Yeah. Ray's kid. <laughs> like hard. I mean, <laughs> this shit is looking rough. Got to break him in good. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Got to pay your dues, man. That's what she said. <laughs> Everyone's like, okay, let's talk about video games. What the fuck? Who's Dominic? Why is he getting beat up? Yeah. Poor kid. So I was down. Because <laughs> what, what tripped me out is uh, somebody tweeted earlier before Raw started. Or I don't know when this happened, but it said um, Dominic and uh, Lesnar confirmed for WrestleMania. And I was like, I'm thinking Dominic Dija, Diet Coke or whatever yeah. the fuck his name is. Dijakovic. And um, I was just like, what? For real? And then now I see this. It makes sense now. And Rey Mysterio got f 10 <laughs> <laughs> Did he spin his ass around? He went double? He, like, you know how he do it? He you usually land parallel with him. He usually just like Rey did a 360. <laughs> came back around. <laughs> he took off like a helicopter and just kept going out of the stadium. And Dominic just got wrecked. Like... He picked him up to do a German to his ass, and it's just he was like in the air, <laughs> feet dangling. He didn't even touch the ground. Oh, you know it's real now. He got a damn a Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> he he suplexed him so hard he has a Twitter. <laughs> yep, it is uh thirty five underscore Dominic. How old is he now? Well, I don't know. Old, old, he had to be over 18 because he just got his ass whipped by a grown ass man on TV. So Yeah. Well, he has to be. That was like, what, like 10 years ago where he was humping the ladder? Yeah. Well, more than 10 years ago where he was humping the ladder in the fight for the contract between his dad and Eddie. I'm your papi. <laughs> <laughs> Even a rasa. Yeah, in her asa. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. You're welcome. <laughs> so video games. <laughs> yeah. What's the hardest game you've ever played in your life, Rob? Uh fuck. Or we cover that already. I don't even know. One that you will like you will not touch a gang because it scars you that much because it's so hard. Well, I, I, I don't have a I don't know. It's just like one that frustrates me, I can tell you that one. And that's a goddamn dead rise in the first one. <laughs> Oh, don't get me started on that stupid son oh, of a bitch. Oh, yes, I'm going to get you started right now. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll, man, <laughs> we reviewed that game uh, last year during Halloween. And, and Ripken was on it. And Ripken came on, and I was pissed. The entire time we did that episode, I was just pissed. And uh, they were talking about how much they loved it and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I would have loved it, but motherfucker was harder than hell. Yeah, I can't even remember how far I got. I never beat that game. And... My, it, it is, it's spoiling me to the point to where I have all of the other games and I don't want to play them until I beat the first one. <laughs> That's a shame. And then, like, I'll get into it good. I'll be playing that bitch for some hours and I get through the story and I keep dying and I, I put that bitch down and I forget about it and I'm just like, fuck this game. <laughs> yeah, I've got a bunch of those kind of games like that too. Uh, but Dead Rising, I never finished it either. And I, I think I'd even declared it on the, the that episode. I was never going to pick that remote up and play that game again. I was that furious at it. Yeah, you definitely did. Hell yeah, we're gonna have to try to. We're gonna have to come together and try to beat that thing, man. <laughs> Just both of us cussing up a storm, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there trying to take too many pictures. That's my problem. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a boss battle trying to snap pictures while he like dead in the lens with a knife in my face or some shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Like fuck that game. I gotta fuck get, it hard. I gotta get all the PP points, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the PPs. And then yeah, it was just like point, points in the game that would frustrate me about it. It's just like you need have to go. You have to go here and do this. And then I would go there and like I, I guess it wouldn't be the right time of the day. 
So then I have yeah. to wait. Yeah, oh, you got to wait. And I'm just like, all right, I'll go do this other mission. And then I get way over on the other side of the mall. And then I just like, I don't want to go way back over there. Then it, that game would have been 20 times better if it had a freaking fast travel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Fast travels. Right now, I just started Red Dead Redemption uh, 2. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if there is a fast travel feature, but as of right now, it sucks. Mm. Like, because I have to travel everywhere and I'm not digging it so far. Yeah. Um, I play. Who cares about fast travel, man? The same thing with your safe states, Toby. I, I am a grown up. I have very little time to be messing around just going straight. What about your sense hour. of adventure? You've lost that, man. I, I lost that when I got a job. <laughs> and <laughs> I need have to get jobs here. I have to get some sleep every once in a while. I don't have time just to search every nook and cranny of every uh, fallout stage or, you know, shit like that anymore. Shit, I, was, I was just realizing how short uh, Breath of the Wild really is because I didn't, I didn't follow the main storyline. I just went to find all the towers so I can fast travel everywhere. <laughs> 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 yeah that, you have to i mean it, because you will you'll waste so much time just traveling and doing nothing and and some of these really large mapped games you know what fucking pissed me off about breath of the wild is like you have all these side quests and you get a get up on the person and be like hey there's a secret thingy over here and you do this and you can find a thing and you can keep the reward and you go through hell and high water to get to the secret thingy and find a chest, and it's like fucking passion fruit or some shit. I was like, bitch, <laughs> you give me some weapons, some armor, some arrows. That some is shit. a good fruitopia. <laughs> I don't mind the passion fruit fruitopia. I passionately whip your ass. That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> this shit pissed me off, man. I was like, I get like a bundle of bananas, bitch. I just lost buku weapons so i can go do this quest and i get a bushel of bananas what the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> the the reward is not worth it yeah yeah and then like the only ones i would do is the ones that have an impact on the story and that's kind of hard to figure out which ones do or don't because there is uh when you get up into gordon town or whatever the fuck the lava shit you can do the freaking uh, side quest to where dude will give you the heat armor for free and everything is right. you paying all the money to get the whole set. So I wouldn't have known that if I didn't find the motherfucking uh I did a I watched somebody do a walkthrough. Yeah, I cheated. So what? <laughs> Sometimes you got you with the uh, those long gas games. Especially fucking Zelda, man. You getting some of them goddamn uh the the freaking shrines and shit. And there is no tutorials. They don't tell you how to do shit. You got to figure that shit out. And I'm like, I would have never thought of that if I didn't look up the fucking video. <laughs> you know, but that's that's kind of they're, they're, they kind of went back to the old school way of doing those games because that's that's how it used to be in like Nintendo games. you just had to figure out. We've played so many games to where we started and we're like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? And because, you know, usually we don't have like a manual or anything because we're just playing the well, game. We message each other like, dude, what the fuck am I supposed to do at this moment? And yeah. like, I don't know. And then you go watch a video because you got to figure it out somehow. Okay. Yeah, it's it gets it, it's those old school games. They just would plop you into this world and just be like, all right, figure it out. It's all you. And that's kind of what the, the new Zelda games yeah. do. I feel so dirty sometimes. I'll be like, man, we'll look at this damn video. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're cheating, right? It doesn't feel right, but you gotta do it. Mm -hmm. yep. Not necessarily in life, but in video games, yes. Yeah, because that's how it's you gotta be done. That's how you break up a lot of marriages. You doing it that way. <laughs> 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 you get the fucking game genie involved. There's a whole other. Yeah, it's like a threesome. <laughs> yeah, damn. Uh, the 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 worst game like i bought a strategy guide for uh, fallout 3 back in the day mm -hmm. and because i'm so indecisive of like which choices i would want to make like i would read damn near the entire like chapter on whatever the quest i was on so i knew like every outcome so i could pick the the way that i wanted to do it and then i'd follow the steps on how to do it that way but that's the only game that i've ever really gotten crazy like that about cuz i didn't want to fuck up and become a bad guy or something <laughs> Man, it was just um, playing that game, Fallout 3. I found it by accident. Yeah. <laughs> I was on um, 
it's gonna sound weird when I say this, but I was in Iraq and um I was at the exchange and I see this game. Yes, I'm in Iraq doing wartime shopping for video games. <laughs> and um I see Fallout three on the shelf, see the cover, badass armor and shit, and I flip it over. And I see his first person. So I'm thinking it's like a Call of Duty game or some shit. Some first person shooter or something like that. Not, right. Not knowing shit about Fallout. And it's, I, it just say Fallout 3. And I was like, wow, there was two other of these? Whatever. <laughs> you know. So must I, be good if there's, this is the third one. Yeah. So I get, I get it in there. And um, playing this thing. And I'm like, okay, so we're on the ground. Oh, they, they really put story into this first person shooter. Why don't I get the weapons and shit? And I'm like, I'm building personality <laughs> and stats and shit. I was like, oh, this is not that type of game. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> yeah, but I went through it twice. I, I played the whole game, you know, just making my own decisions and choices based on the situation. And then I knew all them bad ones that I made and I went back through it and just went to those points to where like, all right. I have like an alternate story now because I blew up Nuketown. <laughs> oh, man. Not the first time, but I went around the second time and then I blew that bitch up. Oh, I did that the first time. I'm a badass. <laughs> you evil motherfucker. <laughs> I feel like I did it and was like, oh, I feel so terrible. And then went back to one of my old save spots and <laughs> and just killed the guy that was wanting to, to blow it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I did. I just went back and started the alternate save points. <laughs> Yeah, I get really, really indecisive playing the Fallout games because I, I don't want to make the wrong choices or it'll it'll mess up my game that I'm working on. So, yeah, I'm, I'm real bad about using strategy guides for that game. But that's usually the only one. Yeah, uh, man, I didn't use not a strategy guide for that thing or whatever, but it was like playing that game as much as I played that game, you know, to completion and going back multiple times, I can never pick up another game and play it like that again. Even when <laughs> Fallout Four came out, I was just like, uh, I don't, I don't want to play this. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, yeah, did I you played ever- it for a bit. Then when it came to that like farming simulator kind of stuff, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm done. Yeah, that that, that did make it a little because that's all you end up doing is you don't even do any of the missions. You're just working on your uh, your little villages and stuff. Yeah, I was building a house and shit. I was like, fuck this couch. <laughs> <laughs> did uh, did y'all ever buy strategy ads when y'all y'all were younger for? Oh, totally. I think I've, the, I think I've only for, bought maybe I haven't bought a lot. I, it's probably less than five that I ever bought ever. I, I get them for the Pokemon. I definitely buy them for Pokemon. You have to buy them for Pokemon, but I used to buy them for like Mortal Kombat and like everything, so I could learn all the uh, the specials and fatalities well, and stuff. I'm not gonna See, lie to those you. Those will show up in like the EGM or Nintendo Power or yeah, game yeah, magazines. Yeah. So I would, oh, yeah. I would just go to the grocery store and bring my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> you just sit there writing down stuff yeah. and you're like, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, got I would, this. I would just write down the ones that I really wanted because I, you know, I don't play with everybody. I just play with the characters I like because I want to win. <laughs> so I would just write down the finishes for the ones that I like. That's, That's fucking brilliant. I applaud you, sir. My my favorite in Mortal Kombat 2 is Johnny Cage, and I'll always remember one of his fatalities is down, down, forward, forward, low punch when you're standing close to him, and that'll uh, rip their body in half. Word. That's the only one I remember, though. I can't remember anything else. He punches people in the dick. <laughs> Except if you're a, a female character. He just has a split. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Shit, no. No gun punch. <laughs> yeah, you hit him in the, the freaking the dangly thing. You just the bean, <laughs> the bean. <laughs> hit the punch the man in the boat. <laughs> the little man in the canoe. Yeah, just punch him. <laughs> See what happens. The never healing axe wound. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's horrible. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ew, man. <laughs> Someone told me that it never got out of my head, so I'm happy to share it with everyone. <laughs> if I have to suffer, you all have to suffer. It reminds me of the the blob from my superhero team. <laughs> no, it was the wad or something like that or some shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh man! So what's up with the derailers, man? Derailers are still going. Is it not? Uh, that's what the you know Ripkin and Jenny Bean. We've been on the show before, and uh, 
hopefully be on again, have you on the derailers. <laughs> I want you on the train, man. Choo-choo. We have the king of random with the, the family of random. Yes, yeah, so, you know, because, you know, you named a segment after me, and I'm truly honored, you know, the random box of random. So <laughs> I had to be there for that. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to. Maybe we'll just do a whole random box of random episode. Oh, shit. <laughs> Please do. Hell yeah. I'll have to put all the ducks in a row and see if we can get that to happen because all the schedules like we're all on one works on day shift one works afternoon shift one works midnight so it's kind of fucking hard to get everyone together you, you have the neapolitan of schedules <laughs> <laughs> yes and i'm the vanilla no i'm strawberry the one no one likes <laughs> i don't know when the last time i had strawberry anything other than a daiquiri <laughs> yep. yeah those ain't bad Matter of fact, What's your uh, flavor of like when you go to Neapolitan? What do you go do first? I'm I'm a vanilla guy. I'm a plain Jane motherfucker. I don't even like chocolate all that much unless it's my wife. Then that's something different. Oh, <laughs> hey now, she has chocolate <laughs> and pink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, breaking up the shocker! Oh eh? shit! That, See, and she not- has and she has vanilla. <laughs> oh, that my, I'm gonna start calling my wife Neapolitan. <laughs> Your Neapolitan princess. Hell, God damn it! I'm using that shit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna text you. You gotta get her a ring now with the brown, pink, and uh, white stone. I'm about to text her that shit right now. <laughs> How you feel, uh, I'm going on Wish.com right now, motherfuckers. <laughs> you are my Neapolitan princess. How you spell that shit, Neapolitan? <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm I'm terrible oh, at spelling. Let, let's see what spell check comes up with. <laughs> Apollo. Apollo. <laughs> Napoleon. Don't call me you're that. Napoleon. You're, you're, you're my Napoleon, Napoleon princess. <laughs> you're my Napoleon. You trying to say I'm short, motherfucker? <laughs> You trying, to, you trying to say I'm short and angry? I was like, yes, exactly yes. what I'm saying. So this might work either way. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her oh. that shit when she get home. My motherfucking Neapolitan princess. I'm I'm so thankful for uh, spell check. Like I, I have to thank the uh, iPhone gods every day that that there's a spell check because uh, I would look a lot more dumber <laughs> if if spell check wasn't on these phones. And Do you remember when we had to fucking hit the button three times to text something? Yes. <laughs> like to get to get to the letter, like. You're, you don't care about spell check, spell check at that fucking point because you're just like hitting buttons like you get what you get, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, not, I'm not going back to hit that button 15 times to get an E. Well, shit, my damn uh, my spell check works against me because I rely on it a lot. Because like, all right, I, I, well, it's not so much the spell check; it's the predictive text, right? So I use it so much to kind of figure out my sentence structure because I kind of you know I talk the same way all the time <laughs> and um, uh, so I kind of rely on that so a lot of the times when I tweet something or I send a text and I go back and I look at it it's like fuck and they'll leave an S off of something or you know so like matter of fact James fucking the ducking. yeah matter of fact I sent you a message and I was like I'm gonna be late or something it was like I late I was like, God damn it, they didn't put the apostrophe M and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like I was talking extra country backwoods and shit. <laughs> I like. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Durr. <laughs> it's like, son of a bitch. They really need to do the Twitter edit button. I'm tired of erasing my tweets and rewriting them. <laughs> oh, isn't that oh, the tell worst? me about it, man. <laughs> Because my stupid ass will write stuff all the time. And, of course, everyone likes to make fun of me. And they point it out. And they're like, you're an idiot. You know, and they'll point out my mistakes. And I'm like, fuck. And I'll just delete it and redo it. And sometimes if, if I'm feeling like a, you know, if, if I feel a little cocky, I'll just be like, no, that's exactly how I meant it. And I just leave it. And then I feel like an idiot. And no. If Jenny's home, I'll make her proofread everything I put out. And I'll show her because she like reads a lot of. She's read like eighty six books this year so far, and so she's good at English. So I'm like, you let me know if that's wrong. And she's like, no, it's good. Send it down. I'm like, okay, I trust you. And then I notice something's missing. I'm like, you bitch, <laughs> you suck at English. So now, is that a fictitious number? Or are you just kind of? No, no, that's a real number. She's read eighty six books. No, maybe more than that. 
How the fuck? Might be over 90 now. What is she damn? She doing like on motherfucking, uh, what's that, uh, short circuit? I'm fucking just. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not Johnny Five. <laughs> We got her one of those uh, e-books, and she just, like, blows through books like no other thing. God damn, I need her. She blows up. <laughs> she need to damn um, uh, read books to me and shit, just, like, do audio books. Oh, the- Jenny's audio book time? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, she reading them that fast and shit, because, like, usually if you read a book once, then you go back and reread it again, you have a better understanding and, you know, feel for it or whatever so i feel like since she read 86 motherfucking books already that she can probably pick up, got something that i've wanted to hear that she can read to me uh, she more than likely has something you want to hear she can she definitely retains all the information as well i'm saying definitely a lot like you said i'm a lot i'm saying like or like sorry like like, like. man like 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 <laughs> like definitely like totally dude <laughs> sure. Peace, y'all, Mowdy. Like, like <laughs> cowabunga. You know, what, know what mean tickles me a lot is that damn um, the one with um, I think that's Raphael or whatever. He got the bug eyes and he's like, I guess cowabunga it is. <laughs> <laughs> Those he's all coked out. Yeah, I don't know why I like that meme so much. <laughs> I guess I don't know that one. I'm about to have to look it up. Yes, look it up. Right now. Uh, right now, yes. <laughs> so everyone can listen to you look it up. <laughs> well, you, you fellas keep talking while I'm trying to find it. What do you think? What's your the- uh, favorite video game franchise of all time, Rob? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you already mentioned Time Crisis. That's the one, yeah, like... Yeah, well, that's the arcade shooter or whatever. Yes, yeah, so you want in your house, but if you had, to, like, Desert Island kind of shit, no arcade... Systems, just a Nintendo or SNES or whatever hmm. Genesis may have you. I mean, shit, I probably rock with the Fallout Three. <laughs> you got a lot of time on your hands. Hell yeah, I try to find each and every way to beat that motherfucker. Uh, by the way, that's very creepy looking. <laughs> Those eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Cow- cowabunga! It is. <laughs> Holy crap! That's funny. I love that shit. I might have to draw my face doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass bug eyes. A new shirt. I, you, we're all sorts of ideas here. You got that. You got the Neapolitan princess. Yeah, I guess random it is. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah, I'm about to try that shit. Hell yeah, I'm going to try to draw that. Hell yeah, you giving me all the good shit. I'm going to have to give you a crisp high five when you come to Dallas. <laughs> oh, man. You know a place we can go shoot some. It's gonna be <laughs> like Michigan. When the was like, "No, no, no, I don't know what you're saying, right?" Make your own belief, you know. It's gonna be a show. The most subtle fair was to make a young girl who should hear your life most kind of girl. Who knows? Yeah, we're out. And you're not even like sixty-eight. Reckon I love. Hey, slide me. Snug. Well, I have a feeling when they're going to come back and listen to this episode. Okay, yeah, yeah, all yeah, three I'm of sorry. us ended up in jail. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I'm going to beep it all out. <laughs> I'll just play it backwards and shit. <laughs> yeah, all so of a like sudden. Satan's making us do it? Yeah, all of a sudden he's just like, yeah, man, we're just going to go. <laughs> what would be scary is if you played that section backwards and you were actually saying something. Oh, that man. would be terrifying. Shit, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. <laughs> <laughs> just that little clip yeah see what it says <laughs> oh, shit. i want a banana sunday that's what i heard <laughs> wait a minute i'm gonna i'm gonna time stamp that shit so i don't forget <laughs> was, uh, like, uh, ha- have you ever heard of some of the back the it's called back masking uh and some of it really does sound like they're saying some evil satanic stuff um some it, it really it really helps when you read like what other people think and then you'll you'll hear it for sure so it almost since you're looking for it to be said that way, it, it sometimes it tricks your uh, mind into it. Yeah. Yes. Whoa, whoa! Yeah. Is this a secret transmission interview or a secret levels interview? Hey, hey! I can I can plug some secret transmission stuff. We're kind of back. Yeah, you're back. <laughs> secret uh, level, secret transmission levels. <laughs> <laughs> They're both secrets. Yeah. You know. Shh, shh. <laughs> shh, shh! Don't talk about it. 
First rule about secret transmission: you don't talk about secret transmission unless you plug in the show and you look at it. Plug it, Toby. Oh, uh, yeah, secret transmission. Uh, talk about spooky stuff and conspiracies and the paranormal. Go check it out. It's a good time. It's my other secret show. Yes. All the <laughs> He's a secretive man. I'm a very secretive man. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> what was it like um, from your tenure of doing the Secret Transmission podcast? What was one of the most, uh, you know, I guess I don't wouldn't say con- controversial, but like you had. Like Declan, like again, you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, one of the episodes that may have got you the most feedback and everything from it. Uh, the the most bad feedback. Either or, good or bad. The the most bad feedback we got was so uh, we wanted to cover the nine eleven stuff, Uh-oh. which is already a really touchy subject, and I understand that, and I knew that going in, but we wanted to do it respectfully and make like the first episode. Uh, all about like what the reports like the like go over minute by minute o- almost yeah. of what happened. Jet fuel doesn't burn steel pipes. Yeah, well, but, see, uh, and we were trying to we were trying to cover all that, and then like a couple of weeks later, we were going to do a part two with all the really really crazy conspiracies, mm-hmm. and we got shit on so much for that first episode because people were like, I, I was there, I know what happened, but the way I was thinking of is like. There's people that are old enough now that that weren't alive then that could be listening to our show that really don't know the minute by minute of what happened. So we were trying to get like the history part of it out of the way. Yeah. And people just shit all over that episode. And we never went back and did part two. <laughs> so we'll <Pussy. laughs> Yes. Well, I, I would, I'd still like to, but I was kind of making sure that one had a, a little bit of time to. To heal. heal all the wounds. Yeah, heal, heal that axe wound. <laughs> <laughs> now, surprisingly, one, so of, back, Rob. one of the uh, episodes that we got a, a lot of good feedback for was when we did uh, an, we did an episode on giants, the oh. Nephilim. Okay. And uh, everyone was thinking, because we even were like, I don't know, this is probably going to be a throwaway episode. It's not going to be very good. And once we started it, it was so much fun. And, and like, there's a crazy story about... Uh, a, a giant that uh, the uh-huh. army found in Afghanistan, and uh, and it killed a bunch of troops and stuff. And like, it, it's, a, it's a really interesting topic. So uh, we got a lot of positive feedback on that one. Uh, we got a lot of positive feedback when uh, uh, Bob was on to talk about uh, the Disney parks. When we we talked about like conspiracies and stuff about the the Disney World and Disneyland and stuff, and uh, he gave us a bunch of insight from the Cretans Guild. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. So yeah, that's one of our our most downloaded episodes actually, which is really funny. Yes, because it's a small world after all. <laughs> that's right. Repeat that all the time. You're stuck on a boat, you'll probably lose your mind. <laughs> so, well, yeah. So we, we've what, had a, a lot of controversies on our show. People don't like that we make uh, jokes, and because you know, sometimes we're talking about some really serious, sad situations, and we kind of make dark humor jokes to kind of like get through it. And uh, people don't like that so much. They think we're being disrespectful when we're not. We're trying to like get the story out there, so mm-hmm. we just handle the uh, uh, sad situations in a different way. You know, you gotta laugh to keep from crying, man. Exactly. That's how I see it. But, you know, I understand where people are like, y'all are disrespectful. Yeah, yeah I get that. I had a cousin, uncle's mother's brother that was there. I was like, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm the first guy to laugh at a funeral. Like Lance Morris said, Canadian legend said, so I, I totally understand that. <laughs> you insensitive motherfucker. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how I cope with things. That's my coping mechanism. mechanism was laughing. Or making a joke. I don't do dick jokes at funerals, though. That's strictly for podcasting. Yeah, this, you, especially when they get rigor mortis. I mean, <laughs> holy shit! Do you see that border right now, on Uncle Johnny? <laughs> Goddamn, coffin can't close. <laughs> <laughs> they keep trying to slam it down. Someone's like, "Where's a good horseshoe? We'll play some around of horseshoes real quick." Yeehaw! <laughs> That's how we do it down here in Texas. Let me shoot it off. <laughs> so, if you would play horseshoes, 
with a stiff penis? Would you play cornhole with a <laughs> a bump plug? That's, that's why it's called cornhole. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gross. So, <laughs> Flip them over after play some cornhole. <laughs> Could you imagine? Everyone's like, all right, I'm done playing horseshoes. What about a good game of cornhole? Flip Uncle Teddy over. <laughs> this sounds like a Halloween like game to get yeah, play. Is, well, yeah, this <laughs> sounds like a crumb episode. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Mortis, of course. <laughs> Wrecked him. I damn near killed him. (laughs) Pocus, Pocus, let me stroke this. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's horrible. (laughs) That's a goose genie line. I have a there's a genie that pops in on the show every once in a while. By I mean, every once in a while, every episode, the goob genie comes out. So what, yeah, what? it's always when Goobs walks away from the microphone, too. And it kind of sounds like Goobs, but... I can step away if you want to talk to the genie, Rob. Yeah, go ahead. Let, let, hold on. Let me, uh, you need, I, you need to, to stroke something first, though. You gotta rub something. Okay. It doesn't matter what you rub. He usually comes... Give me some of... uh, uh, hooks or the spices that you have. Okay, I'm gonna I'm sprinkle some on the mic real quick. There you go. That's probably gonna do the trick. Ooh, ooh hello there, random man with Rob. God damn, G- damn, Genie, what's up? <laughs> oh, boy, I'm up right now. Are you up? I can see that you're up. You just have some awesome spices in your mouth. <laughs> oh, or you wrecked them. <laughs> yes, you damn yes. near killed me. <laughs> so this is the Goobs Genie. He usually uh, comes Whoa, out on the show. Me, don't you start talking or put my wiener in your mouth. <laughs> hey, hey, keep the wiener out of my mouth. Uh, he usually comes and, and gives us uh, cheat codes for the games that we're playing. Word. And... Uh, Makes a lot of. Oh, I definitely do. So so he's the game genie. I get it. All right. (laughs) We don't call myself that. I don't want to get sued. (laughs) Ah, yes. Uh, You are the game entity. I got you. All right. (laughs) Oh, that's much better. (laughs) Copyright (laughs) round around the zero. (laughs) (laughs) So now you got to pay those ideas. (laughs) Now you got to pay me every time you use it. (laughs) <laughs> it's like Neapolitan princess. Ooh, yeah, so I've I been guess, listening. So I guess we break even then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seriously going to say that shit when you get home. <laughs> I hope you do. Hopefully I get some of that sweet pink and vanilla too. <laughs> Goobs, can, uh, Goobs Genie, can you give us a, a cheat on... Uh, on, uh, well, how- if you want to get that sweet pink and stink, <laughs> you go for the good old shocker. That's two fingers and put them together, and then get your pinky out and give the good old shocker. Ooh, mm-hmm. that's a stink genie. <laughs> <laughs> stink genie. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Oh, hey Goobs. Uh, Let's get back man? from the bathroom. Yeah. Oh yeah. D- d- yeah. d- does Satan still guest on your show as well? Oh yeah, yeah. Satan's Satan's actually been sitting here in the room with me. Uh, if you want to talk to him, well, fuck it. I mean, we didn't had the um, the the game entity come up and through here. Might as well the talk Goobs to Satan. Genie. Yeah, the Goobs Genie. Oh, oh shit! Hey, hey Satan. This is Satan. Oh man, get get thee behind thee, Satan. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do like to get behind. If oh, you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you and um, freaking Saddam had that thing going on, so I... Yeah, yeah, we sure did. You know, it's, it's really weird how sexual me and the goose genie are, but we've never met. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Y- y- they should meet one day. Something amazing could happen. Yeah, yeah. Something, something really amazing could happen. Bring him to Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> um, I try to stay away from Dallas. Um, yeah. I owe people money. Yeah, I yeah. the Cowboys win once, so... Yeah. yeah, I heard you got a lot of souls on that uh, stadium build they did down in Dallas for the Cowboys. <laughs> uh, certainly, I certainly did get a lot of souls. I'm still counting up how many I actually got. That was a good time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just, your, your coffers are full right now. I don't even think you can um you put in the torture time that you normally get in. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, it's a business. I understand. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, yeah, I really don't like talking about business. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know. It's like have, getting down to business, right? So I just like to get down to business. And uh, if you have anyone that uh, wants to sell their soul, just uh, 
tell them to give me a call. My number is 666-666-0666. Word, word. Oh, man, do you have any, like, soul exchange incentives or anything? I mean, you got, like, some bundle packages or whatever. They get, like, a free toast oven with an exchange for a soul or some shit. Yeah, usually if you uh, if you sell your soul and donate your uh, firstborn soul, uh, you do get a lovely blender. Word is that like the the, the freaking ninja joint? Uh, no, this is like a. It's actually a used blender that I got from a Goodwill. It looks like Rob. I've got it before. It's not fun. You don't want it. No, it's only good for cow hearts for some fucking reason. <sighs> yeah, you know, have but, you, uh, Rob? Have you ever talked to the? Satan's niece? What? I didn't know there was such a thing. Well, <laughs> no, I've got a, I've got a helper. Uh, he's just a little demon. Let, let me, little demon. I thought it was his niece, but it could be his nephew. Either or. Hello. Hey. All right. Hey. What's going on? Oh, nothing. I, I'm, I'm just sitting here. Um, I have questions. Questions? Okay, sure. I mean, we're here to field them. Give, give us what you got. Um, is, is that Uncle Goops? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. So, um, Uncle Rob? Yeah. Um, okay, I guess I'm your uncle. <laughs> uncle Rob, will you teach me about the vagina? Well, I mean, there's, there's many levels to it. I mean, there's, depending on what kind you get, there's the chocolatey outside and there's some pink on the inside. And if you work real hard at it, you get some vanilla cream. So, you just, is, the, the, is, is the G spot a myth? I, I don't know. I mean, I've heard I've been there before, but like, I mean, who's to really tell? I mean, I, I've never. I don't know. Mm, okay. I mean, okay. I, I think the, I think the G spot is a state of mind. You know. What <laughs> you know? You know? We all yes, me the name of that. No. Well, he did say that, but it was really painful. Okay, so uh, on behalf of myself, <laughs> Toby <laughs> Goose, this has been the rest. <laughs> You're cutting all that shit. <laughs> You're the one that asked for him, Goobs. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, not we, y'all. <laughs> yeah. We're getting rid of that end part. There. No. So all Christ. thoughts and views were expressed by that of Secret Transmission, <laughs> the Durellis <laughs> Podcast, and the Secret Levels Podcast. None of those views and thoughts actually reflect oh. anything <laughs> having to do with the Random Rounds of Rob Podcast or Wrestling is Trash and Associates. <laughs> this has been a broadcast brought to you by Random Works LLC, a partner with Hooks, Rubs, and Spices. <laughs> I had to get the full disclaimer. I didn't try to get sued either. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta get rid of that whole that segment. <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Rob's Rob sponsors are like, I don't know about this. <laughs> we can't sponsor anything anymore. Don't worry, <laughs> we just we just all just lost listeners. <laughs> okay, I'll just uh, I'll mark that too, and I'll play all that backwards as well. <laughs> There you go. Definitely do that. Hold on, I'm about to, I gotta, you, gotta, you gotta work for that part. Yep, I'm about to work, I'm about to mark it here. So that's one oh four. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm gonna Yeah, definitely it. don't play that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna be funny because I'm gonna make it work for it, because I mean they're gonna hear all this, but this that's gonna be in reverse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Double time. I love it. I love it. Yes, I'm a. Yeah. I'm even yelling to her, like, cut this. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no. I just, no. I was ignoring you. I was just going to keep saying whatever I wanted. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the demon child was going to say whatever he wanted. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> not me. So that, that was not my views or sayings. Yes. I remember when Ron was playing his strength, and I'm like, stop, stop, stop this now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. For him, for that little. Uh, demon child. Demon child. <laughs> I, think, I think his name's Damien. Damien. 
Damien. <laughs> you know, that's how I come out with the auto correct. <laughs> Damien. Oh my goodness. My stomach hurts now, so I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Had a hearty laugh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Uncle uh, Uncle Ripkin doesn't like that character at all. <laughs> no, a lot of people don't like that character. <laughs> I don't I'm know why. I'm out on people, and I hate when he turns it back on me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you had that freaky ass genie or whatever. I'm surprised that wasn't around when the little one was around. <laughs> oh man, we got to keep those two separated. <laughs> Pretty cool. You need to keep all three of them motherfuckers separate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. Yes, I, I hearty laugh. I got tears streaming down my face. Abdominals are very tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I mean, what we got next on the horizon for the Secret Transmission podcast, or whatever? Y'all, y'all looking to have any guests in there to do some play alongs or some shit like that, or what's going on? Uh, for for secret levels, yeah. uh, man, we're always looking for for guests to come on. So. When I don't know if anyone drop. wants to come on after that. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we, man, we want- that's, that's only if they worked for it. I mean, they yeah, yeah. They I don't mean, know because I don't. I don't know anybody or any app that you can just pull up an episode on your phone and start playing shit backwards. So do I mean, it back. Yeah, so they probably gonna have to actually download the episode or play it on a computer and run it through some shit so they can actually. We appreciate all that effort and I hope you laughed as hard as we did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm screaming, no, as stop, as don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, stop, don't, keep going, don't, stop, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're doing all the Halloween uh, episodes right now. We're doing four games this month and we're playing a whole bunch of spoopy shit. Can I can I get a preview of the list? What's going on? We got uh, some Castlevania going on, mm-hmm. and then uh, what the one's called the ha- uh, the haunting, starring Polter Guy. Uh, Sega what, Genesis. What did, what was the other one that we decided? I know the last uh, one. The third one is. I know the last one is NES. It's uh, definitely Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, I can't remember what we picked for the third one though. Trying to pull up our list real quick and see. Are we real monsters or we pick something else? I think we pick something else. Man, if you was doing recent stuff, man, I would. um, I love freaking Until Dawn. Oh, Oh, we we did that last year. Uh, We had Adam on to cover that one with us. And uh, we had a good time. That's one of my favorites. In fact, that's another one that I've I've had to. I got stressed out and looked up. uh, how to get through one of the sections with keeping everyone alive? Just yeah. just one part because I was like, oh no, I'm going to make the wrong choice. Yeah, I, uh, I I think I made it through. I only played it once all the way through, and I, I want to go back and do it again. Try to see how many people I can save. But I think the last time I think I only made it through with three people. Right. If you ever get a chance, you need to play the VR, the the Blood Rush, no, because it's it's no, I don't like wearing shit on my face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good. Like, there's a bunch of really good jump scares and stuff. And, I don't and it's just a it's just a rail shooter. Like, it's like you're on a roller coaster and you're shooting stuff. It's it's pretty cool. Oh, time crisis. Yeah, it's 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 time crisis. There you go. Uh, I don't know, because I'd be spinning around in the motherfucking uh, Walmart or something trying to shit out, slap somebody in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we got a, a a couple of spooky games that we're gonna be playing, and uh, it's gonna be a good Halloween, good good October for for the games. Right that we back got into playing. our normal reviews after that. Yep. Goddamn spooky. That's right. Does a uh, Satan or the or is assistant play any of the games with y'all no no they definitely do not <laughs> just, just the genie shows up no yeah and they'll never do it again <laughs> <laughs> the, satan usually stays on the transmission and and uh the genie stays on levels so let's we keep them in in their pers- their their correct shows and that other thing is never showing up again. <laughs> <laughs> he only shows up on special occasions. I don't know what that's all about. Like, like this one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I only think of you on two occasions. <laughs> day and night. I don't know why they Tony Tone Tone. What is that? I think. I don't know. Whatever. But um, shit. It's been great having you guys back and hearing your voices again and shit. Thanks for having us on, buddy. 
Yeah, we we appreciate it. Yeah. Sorry, you took your show to new depths. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if they're really good depths or really bad depths, but hopefully, hopefully the feedback will let us know soon enough. <laughs> yeah, well, Neapolitan yeah. princess—that's a good one. Yes, it was very in depth. Ha 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 ha! Oh, um, I seen a meme that I thought was kind of appropriate for this uh, occasion. Um, the irony of getting pregnant on a pullout couch. <laughs> oh, that's way too good. Is that uh, where I jump in and say, Game over, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. That's how we end our episodes. <laughs> uh, so you just like, it's just a, a random, like, game over, then it just cuts off? Yep. yep. <laughs> Usually it's so, after one of the inappropriate is said, and then. Game over, folks. <laughs> oh, so like the uh, the name, they put it up in the mouth. They have to work for that. Oh, yeah, I'll play that backwards too. <laughs> Hold on, so now I got to mark this shit too. Hold on, all right, uh, all right. Now I got that one too. <laughs> 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 so yeah, you got a lot of um, Missy Elliott stuff in this episode you know just <laughs> I wonder if that was something I had to play that backwards too fuck you gotta play that Every, forwards. yeah I was about to say everything that you've tried to say backwards you need to play forwards and then really confuse people oh no oh yeah so now I gotta play shit forward and backwards god damn <laughs> most editing I've ever had to do on the episode <laughs> You're welcome. Game over, man.